Okay, let's see this problem. Um, it says that uh, the vertical axis windmill consists of two blades that have a parabolic shape. So, which means that for each point, we have different radius. If the blades are originally at rest and begin to turn with a constant angular acceleration of alpha c 0 0.5 radian per second, so this one, determine the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration of points A and B uh, on the blade when t equals to 4 seconds. In this problem, um, we understand that uh, if, we, uh, if we have different uh, radius, we are going to experience uh, different angular velocity and different angular acceleration. So if we put a 2D diagram into this, and we know that uh, this is the angular acceleration, this is the AC, uh, alpha C equals to 0 0.5 radian per second and this is uh, point A okay this is point A and this is point B so we agree that this uh, representation of radius okay so this one is 3 meter and this one is 6 meters all right okay so we begin what uh, by uh, getting the uh, the angular velocity at t equals to uh, 4 seconds so we have as usual we use this uh, velocity equation so this is omega equals to omega naught plus uh, constant acceleration angular acceleration times t so we know the t we know the constant acceleration and we know it starts from rest so when you start from rest, we have this equals to 0 plus uh, angular acceleration equals to 0 0.5 and the operation is for 4 seconds. So we put this 4 and then uh, when we finish this, we are going to get 2 radians per second. So this is uh, the angular uh, velocity of the whole object. Okay, but we need to examine for these two points. Okay, for these two points. So, um, when we try to calculate, we are going to uh, calculate with respect to the radius. So, here we have uh, the velocity of A and also the velocity of B. Two different things. So, for the velocity of A, we need to calculate, uh, we use the angular uh, velocity times radius at A similarly so the radius uh, so the angular velocity times the radius of B so here we have 2 here we have 2 and then RA equals to 6 RB equals to 3 so what do we have at the end of the day we are going to get this 12 meter per second this one is equal to 6 meter per second Okay, so we finish the first question. What is the velocity at point A and point B? Next is to calculate for the acceleration. Okay, to calculate the acceleration. So, in order for, for us to calculate the acceleration, um, we have two types of acceleration. For angular acceleration, we have tangential and also we have normal. So can we write this? Um, the A, okay, this is tangential for point A. So this is acceleration normal for point A. Okay, so what are the equations for tangential? We have um, the angular acceleration times R. Okay, if you remember this, this is going to be omega squared. Okay, times R. So what R? Should be RA. Okay, so when we plug in all those values that we collected earlier, so we have here 0 0.5, okay, so this is 0 0.5 times RA equals to 6, and we have omega already, so we have uh, omega is equals to 2 radians per second, so this is 2 to the power of 2 times 6, okay, when we finish this, we are going to get 
uh, 3 meter per second per second and this is going to be 24 meter per second per second so this is for a okay this is for component a now we try to have the same thing with component b so acceleration tangential point b uh, acceleration normal point b so we, we use the same steps so this is going to be alpha rb so this is going to be omega square rb so alpha is similar the whole body is experiencing ang same angular uh, acceleration so we have 0 0.5 times rb equals to 3 this is uh, omega squared so this is 2 to the power of 2 uh, rb is equals to 3 so when we finish for this we are going to get uh, 1.5 here and this is going to be 12 okay so we have done this for the component a and this is for the component b so once we have this we can get the uh, the acceleration the magnitude of the acceleration for point a and point b so this is a for point a so this is basically uh, the a t a squared plus a n uh, a squared okay so here we have a t equals to 3 to the power of 3 plus a n 24 okay squared then we have uh, 24.2 24.2 meter per second per second use the same step for B so this is a B okay a B a T B squared plus a N B squared okay so when we finish this okay let's go up okay we're going to get um this is going to be 1.5 okay this is going to be 1.5 to the power of 2 then 12 to the power of 2 and finally we're going to get 12.1 meter per second so done for both